What is the crack, lads? We are back. Hopefully I've got my mic because I can't see the thing going up. But yeah, it should, it should look okay. So we're back with another episode of Dream Team Chronicles. Now before we get into it, right, I am going to be doing a video on the new meta since 2.1 has dropped. And obviously we're going to be getting further updates to it. I expect a huge update in, no in November, in November. Um, but if you go in here, right, and this is a good thing about looking at different teams and looking at different um, play styles and stuff. You can see here like the top five players in the world, right? So um, we've obviously got Mednessa, who's a Twitch streamer, one of the best players around. We've got Momo, obviously, who is a Twitch guy as well as uh, a really, really good player. Um, and we've got the rest of the boys here as well, the top five that is here, right? So if we go into their teams and we actually look at their game plan, okay? We actually look at their game plan, which you can do, anybody can do. You kind of start to see the meta that is still kind of prevalent since day one right now obviously there is a lot of stuff that we can discuss about it as we go into a further video and i will be doing kind of like a different look at it but if you do go in to look at different teams and stuff you will notice that now hopefully by the time i have this video out i will have the meta video done where i've gone into more detail about it um but like as i've said in my other video if i've done it you will see the meta of keeping it as solid as you can at the back with three center backs and then have your options up front as your main kind of attack and threat where midfield is really kind of all about just passing blocking lanes and getting the ball up so you're kind of the you're kind of playing between your front three and your back three or your back five or your back four depending on how you set up a lot of players will set up with that very direct impact now we're going to do the top 10 of these in the future video but i just wanted to get you guys to show you that to check out the other video if he had not already but we are going to go into that in a little bit more detail where we talk about the meta and i'll talk about a couple of things i never claimed to be an amazing player at the game you know what i mean i don't dedicate enough time to actually playing it number one um and i also like i i don't have that ultimate skill set i think of wanting to win at all costs i don't have the right mentality i want to go out and i want to just like play nice football and do things that kind of like yeah i want to win obviously i'm not going to say that i want to win it's easy you know for somebody to be like oh, i'm not really bothered about the result i obviously want to win every game i play um but my enjoyment out of it it's kind of like how I play Warzone, you know what I mean? I know every game that I play Warzone, I'm not going to win. You know, you're not going to win, but you still play it um, because it's an enjoyable experience. And when it stops becoming enjoyable, you turn it off. And, you know, it's the same. I went in to see Black Adam the other night. It's getting ravaged by the critics. I loved it. I thought it was excellent. Yes, I could see the flaws. It had a lot of issues. It was a very, very poor villain. The plot was kind of just, you know, stuck together. Um, but it was a very serviceable plot. The action was good um the acting was fairly okay the rock is being the rock obviously and it was a good introduction to a new character that hadn't been set up before pierce Brosnan and all that but anyway that's black adam right but enjoyment is subjective to what you guys want so that's just a little bit of a piece of a uh, talking point that we're going to get into in a future video as well but i will be doing the meta tactics and hopefully i will be getting a special guest in uh, as well to discuss some things but until that we are going to go straight into dream team chronicles this is a long introduction let's get right into it we're going to go straight into a match so i will see you guys at kickoff same squad as the last episode let's go all right so we're straight in just going to show you guys this guy's team uh he's got a fairly decent squad he's got a nice midfield really high rated midfield he's got salah He's got Haaland and Neymar up front and Cruyff as a manager. So this is the team we're rocking with today. Salah's in, Neymar's in. Um, I was going to start Haaland, but Romario's fully up. So we're going to go with that back five again and then switch to the three uh, with, the, with the really wide uh, left and right backs as well with Carlos pushing up and Kimmy pushing up. So let's get right into it. As I'm drinking my smoothie, trying to get my, my fruit into me. Hopefully it'll give me the energy. Ooh. Sour. This guy's Division 5 as well. Good start now needed. Lovely Pedri. Salah. That's in there for you, Mario. Could have been a goal if I got that flick, lads. Alright, he's going to go, probably going to go direct with Haaland. Salah. Man, Salah just does not do it for me. I don't know why, but he I just can't play with him. His lovely feet, like. Oh, 
Mario. Neymar! There we go. Work it in. Again, Neymar is the main man. Oh, that's smoothie sour, lads. I get lucky with that pass through there from Mario. Neymar again, lads. Attacking. Get back, Makalele. That was a silly tackle to make. For rain. Dangerous position. He was going nowhere as well there. Ah! He could score this, lads. And he passed it. I need to take off Salah, lads. Oh, I got a man sent off. What the hell? No way. Was it for rain sent off? Oh, my days, man. All right, Pedri's going to go. Well, that kind of changes that because I was going to bring him on, but I'm just going to leave that right flank unoccupied now. Bring him the right Oh, come on. What kind of a pass is that? Oh, man, this game now. It's taken a dump since I conceded. Body's in the way. Great finish. Great composure. Great pass by De Bruyne. Yeah, I've been a bit unlucky. I think since the red card, I didn't really mean to fly in. I haven't got many, um, many chances being a man down well that's killer lads since that red card we just lost our shape at the back I probably should have changed to a 4-4-2 yeah I don't think that was a red card to be fair that guy stole a point, two points off us or a point off us not a bad player uh, I'm going to have to change things up a little bit now bring off rain ah, that's a pity I think if I play that guy again yeah I think I beat him to be fair See what we can throw in here for one game. Salah's coming off, lads. I can't deal with him. He just gives me nothing. Do I have any centre backs that can do a job for one game? Uh... I'll bring in De Jong, lads. See this guy's team. Okay, he's playing 4 2 4. This guy's going to be very sweaty. So, I am going to put man marking on Paddy V. Be careful, this guy doesn't hit me on the break. Kimi. Dangerous ball. Oh, come on. This is always the way, man. I pepper the goals for the first 10 minutes, can't score. And then I get myself under pressure. I need that first goal. Oh, no, he's asleep, he's asleep, he's asleep. Lucky boy. Very lucky boy. Watch the run. We have the run, we have the run. It was meant to be an auto cancel. Where's this guy going? Come on. All that for that. It work out for him. Come 
Carlos. Ah, man, it's just feeling a little bit cumbersome, cumbersome now. Come on, he's so easy to read. There we go. Oh my God, Romario, just a plain pass. Stop looking fancy because the girlfriend's in the crowd. Yes, he's feeling up for it though, I can see. Oh, that would have been beautiful. Romario! Lovely move. I knew he wasn't watching that ball in from Pedri. Beautiful pass. Keeper should have done maybe a little bit better, but what a finish. Yeah, that's karma. That's karma for now that we watch any replays. I mean, he's playing a 4-2-4, but he's got Kimi and Musiala in, in, in midfield. He's playing a back three. He's playing the meta. He's actually playing the meta. What a win. And there we go, lads. That is it for another episode. So 36, I think that is. Dominated possession, dominated the passing, dominated the shots and targets. Brilliant subs to come in as well. All right, lads, that is it for me. I'm going to end it there. Another episode in the bag. We'll be back quite soon. I will talk to you later. Peace.